Hi guys, it's Colette, and today we're going to be working on this pink reciprocal gradient for breast cancer awareness. If you love nail art, be sure you're subscribed to my channel, My Simple Little Pleasures, and if you'd like to see how I did this, just stay tuned. Starting off with clean dry nails, we're going to begin with a base coat. I'm using Ready for Takeoff, which is a peel off base, and you can use whichever is your personal favorite. We're going to be using three different shades of pink for today's manicure. The neon is Beach Cruiser by Orly. The middle pink is Feel the Breeze by China Glaze. And the lightest pink, which will also be my base color, is Tickled Pink by Sally Hansen. Once I have my base color applied, I'll be protecting around my nails using liquid latex. Once your latex is dry, you can move on to the sponging. I also chose to add a layer of top coat to the base color to help keep it from being pulled up by the sponging. So now I'm going to apply the three colors onto the sponge, overlapping a little bit on the sponge. And with the lightest towards the tip of my nail for the first layer, I'm just going to start creating the gradient. I added a layer of quick dry top coat on the first gradient in order to speed up the dry time a little bit. And now that they're dry enough, I'm going to go ahead and apply some very skinny straight nail vinyls. These are about the same width as a uh, piece of striping tape would be, except you don't have to go and cut it all out. I do prefer using a tweezer to apply them, that is your personal preference. And then once I get these applied, I'm going to go back and add a fresh layer of latex.
once you have your vinyls and your latex applied, you can go ahead and start the second layer of the gradient. I'm going to be using the same three colors, but applying them this time with the neon pink towards the tip. For the second layer, I used exclusively the lightest color to try to help lighten it up at the cuticle. And hopefully this third layer will be the last one. And after I apply it, I'll be removing the vinyls and the latex. Since I have a layer of top coat in between the gradients, any places where there was any polish that seeped under the vinyls, I can go in and do a little bit of cleanup on the stripes, like particularly here near the cuticle. Once I finish that, I'm going to go ahead and complete my normal cleanup around the edges with my normal brush. to add a hollow taco but I decided to keep this as just a cream gradient and now that I'm finished with all my cleanup I'm gonna go ahead and finish off with one last layer of sesh feet. So here's the finished manicure, and I love how this turned out. I basically wanted a pink version of the purple reciprocal that I started off with so many years ago, and I think this turned out perfectly. I haven't always done a breast cancer nail art in October, but I wanted to make it a priority this year because it hits a little bit closer to home. My mom has recently dealt with breast cancer, and she is now thankfully cancer free but it was kind of a reminder and a reality check that you need to be more than aware you need to take action. Ladies, go get your boobs checked. 
Nobody likes it, but the earlier you can identify and take action on any problems, the better. If you'd like to check out the extended tutorial, that will be up here in the next couple days, and there are some bloopers in this one. I made some mistakes, but it all worked out in the end, obviously. Um, came out with this lovely manicure. If you would like to join me live for those kinds of exploits, you can come follow over at twitch.tv slash MSLP. I'd love to hear what you think of this down in the comments, and if you enjoyed, I hope you'll leave a thumbs up. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.